blameless. He says, you may be blameless, harmless, the sons of God. Now, now let me stop right there and say, you're not born a son of God. You're not born in the family of God. Listen, you are born made in the image of God. He stamped his image and likeness on you. The moment you were, you were conceived, listen, you had great value. Listen, that's, that's beautiful. That's not salvation. Salvation is the moment that you realize that you need to be in the family, but sin has separated you from your creator. I love how Jesus said it. He said he came into his own, and his own received him not, John 1, 11. He says this, though, but as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Now listen, James says this, even the devils believe and tremble. I've met a lot of good people who believed in God, but were not a son of God. We're not in the family of God. You say, how in the world could that be the case? Because believing that God exists is not the way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes into the Father but by me. Jesus is the only way we can get into great relationship with the Father. In the Garden of Eden, uh, sin separated man, but Jesus came as the second Adam to renew, to be a bridge uh, from our sin to grace. How many of you are thankful this morning that God has given you a way out of your sin and into relationship with him? That is that is the story of the Bible, that every page is about us reconnecting with God through Jesus. You, you can look at every story, every page, every verse, everything that maybe you don't even understand. You might even look at all those names in, in the book of Numbers and, and, and Chronicles, and you look at all the names, and you're like, you know, so-and-so begot, so-and-so begot. What? How, how many of these names are there? And it's all about the fact that man was created by God separated their fellowship with God through sin. But God is bringing a way back. And through Abraham came the, the sinless Lamb of God, which spilled his blood as an infinite sacrifice for all who would believe in him. It's not believing that God exists. It, it's believing that Jesus died for you. My friend, if I was the only person on this planet, Jesus would have died for me. If you were the only person, he would, have, he would have sent his son. God would have sent his son to die for you. And so receiving that, and we're so thankful that every single week here at New Life, there's people who, who, who realize, man, I've been trusting in religion. I've been trusting in my own, uh, my own way. But, but, but Jesus said he is the way, and I need to turn from my sin, and I need to turn to him. And, and we're so thankful. I'm, I'm thankful for these after this service and the next service. We're going to be baptized. But their baptism is not for salvation. It's to show, hey, uh, they are trusting in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus to go to heaven. And I'm thankful that we have that assurance that we are the sons and daughters of God. I'm thankful for the family of God. I'm thankful to be in the family of God. We'll talk about that more